Hey folks! Today we're going to look in this sketchbook that I just finished. I started in 2018 when I travelled to the UK It went to England and Scotland. And so I'm going to be going through this sketchbook, we're going to look at every page, I'm going to give you a few little bits of information here and there, maybe even play some footage of my holidays. So let's get into it. A little bit of info. You know, I'm going to blur that out because <laughs> you do not need to know my phone number. First of all, I should start off by saying that I bought this initially to use as a travel journal. Um, I was traveling to England in 2018 um, because I, I was born there. Um, so most of my family is actually in England. All my, you know, my grandparents and my uncles and my aunts and my cousins. I hadn't been back since I was 21 and I'm now 36, so it's been a long time. It was well overdue for a, a travel to the UK. So that's what this book was for. It changed halfway through, but we'll get to that. So this is a, a drawing of Old Sarum. Let's see if we can zoom in here. So Old Sarum is actually a, an ancient hill fort in my hometown of Salisbury in Wiltshire. This old hill fort, which is a man-made hill, from ancient times. This really cool place is right behind my nan's house who we were staying with and it's got castle ruins on top. So the original town of Salisbury was built on top of this ancient hill fort which I find really interesting. So this was just a depiction of what the castle may have looked like because it's actually quite in ruins now. There's not really much left at all, unfortunately. They uh, they stole all, this, all the stones from there and they moved them to build other things. Next, I had saved some space to do something, which I never got around to doing. <laughs> and it pains me. It pains me to see empty pages like this, but nevertheless, we'll move on. As you can tell, <laughs> there's a lot of empty space. Um, when we when we got to England, I mean, I had planned to, to fill this up with travel sketches, and it just did not happen because we had planned so much, so much running around, so many tourist locations, so many castles and ancient sites that I just literally didn't have time to draw. Sounds like an excuse, but we just didn't. It wasn't really feasible. So yeah, it was a little bit of a transition. I didn't get a lot of travel journal stuff done. We stayed a couple of days in Cornwall. We visited Tintagel Castle. I drew King Arthur. Uh, there's a, a statue of him uh, on Tintagel Castle. That is obviously like a, a modern day statue kind of sculpture. Um, so I kind of drew that, but kind of gave him a bit more lifelike features. And, you know, a little bit of a background there of Tintagel Castle. Not, nothing too extensive, but I actually did, made a point of, like, standing there and drawing that, which I'm not really used to. So, you know, it was a bit of practice. And, yeah, we, we get a bit better as we go along. So next we have St. Michael's Mount, where I did some more castles, which is was really, really fun. This was my second attempt at standing somewhere with, like, tourists just buzzing about everywhere. I mean, it was really, really hard thing to do because we went in peak season between August and September, so it was packed. It really, really was. So this part of the castle was actually, if I can remember, I would say, I don't know, it was probably up there or up there. It was like an outside sort of balcony area. Um, and I just kind of fixated on one little section Again, not really ideal, it just, you know, just kind of happened that way. But I was there, and I drew things, and so I was happy with that. And I'm also using, um, I'll go get it, hold on a second. Yeah, so for a lot of the work in the sketchbook, I am using the Koi Watercolor Set, Security Color Products Corporation. Um, excuse the mess of this, I don't usually clean it very often. Uh, but yeah, the also, also a great thing, this also fits on one pocket, this fits in the other, <laughs> so that was really cool. I also bought these um, water pens, so you fill them, fill them with water, squeeze them, the water comes out, it's pretty basic, basic stuff. Yeah, I really enjoyed working with these, I use them all the time now. 
and the the paper in this sketchbook kind of if you do put too much water on it it does kind of tend to warp and it's not very nice so that's just something to keep in mind um, okay this is one of my favorite travel sketchbook pages uh, on the left we have Glastonbury Glastonbury tour uh, absolutely amazing inspiring place I like drawing little like symbolic things that kind of remind me of uh, things that happened along the journey so this is the town path into Salisbury uh, pretty much from my imagination well from my memory um, of the path so it's a little path that follows the river into town it's just freaking beautiful and uh, I love my hometown and I really wish I could live there but alas I am stuck in Australia so then we have Salisbury Cathedral which I actually sketched this cathedral last time I was in England when I was 21 which is in my nan's house hanging up and I wanted to, I knew I wanted to do another one which is actually what I saved this double page spread for I thought I was going to do that and we just didn't get around to allocating the time to sit there and do it it's uh, it's quite an extensive kind of building to try and draw um, so I kind of just again just picked a section focused on that and kind of simplified the details a bit so I'm kind of learning how to draw from life as I go along here um, this is also a really amazing day <laughs> because I proposed to Jamie on this day right under the cathedral and we were lucky enough to get a massive well not a massive but a pretty big festival an arts festival happen on that day that night at the cathedral with fireworks and I did not plan that <laughs> so that was pretty amazing um, but yeah this is one of my favorite pages not just because of the sentimental value but also just um, I just like the way it turned out you know and here's a lack of details but this is also one of my favorite pages from the travel journal um, maybe I can pop in a bit of footage here but basically the story with this is obviously I'm drawing Stonehenge but I'm actually at Stonehenge and we were the last people to to stay for that day we've we actually we visited Stonehenge twice it's 30 minutes from my nan's house so it's very much a local part of my family history really um, well you know we didn't live on it but we live close enough you know so if you want to go back in time I'm sure I'm related to these people who built this thing so I think that's pretty damn cool but anyway so we, the first time we went we went in the morning and we were the first ones to walk towards the stones which is pretty awesome usually the stones are just absolutely packed with people you know it, it really kind of ruins the vibe when you've just got tourists everywhere and yes I'm, I'm aware I am a tourist too so I'm helping that situation uh, but the second time we went it was the last group of the day so we we were the last ones to leave literally which was such an amazing experience because we had the sunset we sat there for about two hours maybe and I drew this which you know doesn't seem like much but it was just an incredible experience you know to to have these these stones almost all to myself and connect with them in a way that I never thought possible it was just amazing uh, more travel stuff I don't want to go too too far into it because I don't want to bore you guys we've got a lot to get through here um, but we went to the Cotswolds we went to Edinburgh on the train which was really cool I had a bit of an argument there <laughs> uh, you know the Highlands absolutely spectacular freaking amazing place old man's store this crazy rock formation that we hiked up to which was really cool you will not forget that uh, then we went on the Jackbite train which is the train featured in the Harry Potter movies and that is the oh god I think it's called a viaduct I could be wrong there uh, you know it's kind of like a fancy bridge um, yeah that was amazing 
And this castle, we drove past Elin Donan Castle probably about six times, and unfortunately we never went in there. It's just one of those things. I don't know why. We're going to have to do it next time because it's freaking awesome. But we did manage to stop here, and I did paint this whole thing standing there, and that was an incredible experience too. Unfortunately, there's some blank space, <laughs> but I love mushrooms. So we also went to Isle of Skye in Scotland, and up there is the fairy pools. So this was taken from inspiration from the fairy pools. There is this. There was this. This actually made a big impact on me. Um, there was a thorn tree, a hawthorn tree, rather. And you know they're pretty common trees, but it was the pretty much the only tree in this place. And whether or not this photo looks as magical to you as it does to me, I think you really kind of had to be there. The place is just incredible to start with, so it's it's very magical anyway. And then to have this like mystical tree kind of just branching over a little river, creek, whatever you want to call it was pretty amazing. Uh, and then through my research, it's actually inspired a, a great amount of story aspects. Story features. Features of a story that I'm writing, <laughs> which has been really fucking cool. So, again, another amazing moment <clears throat> that I managed to, <clears throat> excuse me, capture. Moving on. More Edinburgh stuff. The Elephant Cafe, where J.K. Rowling would write Harry Potter. So that was fun. Arthur's Seat. Drinking whiskey and stuff. And then we went to London, and we met some cool peoples. And we saw some cool things. Okay, and that pretty much concludes the travel journal. I really wish I had got to do more. Um, so next time, I'm going to do it a bit better, I hope. So this is probably a sketch for my Wonderings book, which is a collection of sketches. Um, just This is just like a little thumbnail for <clears throat> what I wanted the cover to be. Um, yeah, new logo design. Just random notes and stuff. More concepts for something. Don't really remember. I guess that's how I was feeling. <laughs> I tend to feel like that a lot, to be honest. Oh, that reminds me. Coffee. <clears throat> Excellent. Sunday commission, I guess I was taking commissions here, so these are just some little thumbnails just to figure out what I was going to do. Some sort of an evil sorcerer commission. Uh, something about a weekly update that I kind of haven't been doing. Personal drawing. Trying to get some feelings out, you know express those feelings. Now I often find, you know, shit can get pretty overwhelming sometimes, so just drawing it out actually kind of helps. I didn't even finish this, but I'm sure it helped me get through whatever I was going through at the time. Okay, now we're getting onto some good, good stuff, hopefully. Uh, yeah, a lot of these are just kind of random warm-up kind of drawings, so just Drawing for the sake of drawing, they don't particularly mean anything. Um, just cool character character designs. And some things, you know, you find valuable, other things you don't. It just, you know, they don't particularly serve a purpose, apart from just, just drawing, just practicing. Other things, you know, you might come up with an idea that, you know, can bring itself to a project that you're working on or a story or something. So just drawing random shit, I find, I find just really enjoyable. I mean, it can be useful 
but it's more about the enjoyment factor. I mean, if you're not enjoying drawing, then you're doing it wrong. And I think just the freedom of just being able to draw anything, and it doesn't matter, I'm not being judged by anyone. I, not until I put it on the internet anyway. <laughs> so, you know, it, this is this is my comfort zone. This is just doing whatever I want to do. Um, you know, just pin-up girls and little little anatomy thingies, poses. Uh, this was when I went to Melbourne for a show and I was staying with my family and I kind of just needed to A, draw some stuff and B, kind of get some shit out of my brain. So that's what that was. Um, I bought a book on medieval designs and I can't think of the name of it now and some concept sketches for one of my characters called the, the Arcanist which is a, it could be a working title because um, after I created him I started reading uh, in the name of the wind <laughs> which has an Arcanist character in it too and I was like oh geez that's that's unfortunate but you know I'm gonna go with it and I'll Maybe I'll change it, maybe I won't. We'll see what happens. Uh, totally different character anyway, so just the name is the same and the fact that it's an old dude. More character designs. Uh, didn't really work his way into my story like I thought he would, but I kind of like his design anyway. It's a me, Matteo. And Jamie. Yeah, just little portraits of me and Jamie. Just for no reason whatsoever. This was a terrible attempt at drawing my studio, and I'm going to do way better than that. <laughs> That's bad. That's also bad. Getting pretty into the Dark Crystal. I think I drew these actually before Age of Resistance came out. Uh, I've been pretty eager for that to pop out. Um, so I think we just kind of watched the original movie and did some drawings for that. Some more character stuff. Skeksis are fun, but very detailed. Already I kind of decided that I wanted to do a Dark Crystal poster at this point, um, so that's a little bit of a thumbnail. Not quite sure, I mean, it's similar to what I did, I think, but not quite. A little bit different. Pinups. I still enjoy drawing pinup stuff. Um, so every now and again, I will get back to what I used to do. So this is a bit of a spoiler, but these are sort of my characters that I'm working on at the moment. Uh, I decided to just draw them in a, as a big group shot. Um, except for this guy down, these two little characters down here are not in my story. This is actually what spawned the whole illustration. Uh, we were at a cafe and it was a really busy cafe, we were there for breakfast and this family had like these this little kid who was like really really cute but he had this hoodie on that had this little pointed hat like pointed tip on the hoodie and it was just freaking adorable and he just like looked like a little gnome or a little elf or something so yeah, I just went with that idea and decided to draw this little elf kid and then that happened so you know, that <laughs> How that happened, that from that to that, I don't know. Uh, some things kind of end up unfinished. You know, maybe I just wasn't feeling it in the end and just thought, yeah, move on. And that's okay. It's just a sketchbook. You know, like those couple of sketches, not really, wasn't really too keen on them, wasn't feeling it. Um, but yeah. I think this is a brush pen by the looks of it. Yeah. Oh yeah, I was trying out brush pens here. I think these brush pens were these ones that I got. They're they're quite disposable, but uh, they're just like a little felt tip. I wanted to try some felt tips because I've mainly been using Pentel pocket brush pens and the tip of that brush pen is very long. And it's, it's quite hard to control. It kind of really affects your style because you can't 
you can't draw with intention really I mean you kind of got to embrace the mess and the unpredictability of them sometimes so I wanted something a little bit more that I could have a bit more control uh, so that's what these are done with more character stuff and thorns I've got an obsession with thorns if I'm just really want to just draw something like if I'm in a social situation I don't really know what to draw I'll just draw like little flourishes around the edges of my page um, kind of just to soothe my anxiety sometimes and I don't you know it's it's very easy to draw it just gives me something to do uh, these guys were drawn at supernova I think or comic-con uh, when there was a bit of a couple of slow moments at the table same with this again not really too keen on this but it is what it is you, you win some you lose some you know my mood really fluctuates but compared to my old sketchbooks this is actually quite good my old ones I never I never finished a sketchbook previously like back, you know, 10 years ago, I could never finish a sketchbook. All my pages were just half filled, even though this is half filled, but, you know, moving on, I do, I do fill out my sketchbooks sometimes uh, with cool things that I like. This was a really bad drawing, but... It <laughs> It was done kind of quickly, um, inspired by Leslie Fish. She's a folk singer, actually a filk singer, which is basically folk music based on fiction. And so she's actually mostly known for making folk music about Star Trek, but she has one particular album that is just really fucking cool, and it's about like all this old kind of like pagan medieval kind of songs and they're they're pretty amazing uh, she also has a story about her guitar her guitar has a name and a story to it and I thought that was really amazing I guess I could probably talk about my line work as well like I think drawing in this sketchbook these types of sketchbooks has really changed my style and to explain the origin of that, I'd have to go back to a previous sketchbook. But, yeah, I just really love doing lines. Like, really intricate, detailed lines. Um, there's so many artists out there that are way better at it than me. But, it's yeah, it's just something I enjoy and something I hope to get better at in the future. I was hoping to do a book of mythological creatures um, some known some more a little bit unknown that you might not have heard of before sort of draw them and give a bit of info that's sort of been put on the back burner now uh, this was another one this is uh, the red cap it's still I would still like to do that idea but for the moment it's I've got too many other things to do okay so this that's my house. I'd like to try and draw it again because whenever I'm drawing from life I feel like it gets too realistic and I don't really enjoy drawing realistic. It was just like a natural, you know, just trying to draw what I see but I would rather interpret what I see if that makes any sense. Uh, this was we were staying at a friend's place in Tassie that overlooked the, the ocean. Uh, this is kind of just how I was feeling. <laughs> That's how I feel a lot of time. It's good fun. It's good fun. Yes. I feel like this this is a good sketchbook page. It's got the right amount of little drawings. Some of them are a little bit sketchy in pencil. Some of them are inked. And I've filled the I've filled the space, so I feel like this this is on point. This is how I would like my sketchbooks to to flow in the future. You know, they don't need to be 
extremely detailed. They don't need to be extremely detailed like this. You know, they can be just kind of flowing. And it actually helps just like kind of like drawing a shape that fits and then trying to work out a picture from that. And I think that's one of the ways that I have been fin uh, filling pages and it's really helped. Because like sometimes, you know, you draw this, you draw that, you draw this, and then just like, I just, I don't know. I don't want to leave it blank because it, so many pages have got blank spots in them and they just really bother me. So if you can fill it with something, I think that's really cool. Unfortunately, <laughs> it doesn't always happen. Bit of self-motivation here. Again, just one of those pages that I turned the page. Um, it's always better to just try and fill it. So, more character stuff. Ideas for videos. Uh, so these are some prose ideas for a job that I'm supposed to be doing that's designing a statue. And recently I did a five page comic for the Australia Burns Anthology, which is, it's raising money for six different charities in relation to the bushfire crisis that Australia had recently and is still recovering from really. Um, so this was just like my, my initial ideas and my thumbnails for the pages and more brainstorming business ideas uh, I really want to be doing markets in the future so this is my my ideal market setup which is a little bit of a pipe dream at this point I'll get there hopefully eventually more organizing stuff this is stuff that I just finished recently Uh, I need to practice more with um, exteriors, landscapes. Uh, demon girls, they're fun. Demon girls are fun to draw, even like little demons. Little demons are also cool. But yeah, again, just like playing with shapes is, is really, really fun. So with this, I literally just started out filling the area, outlining that, and then figuring out what pose I could fit into it. So that's how she came about. And that's it. So there you go, guys. Um, not the best sketchbook I've ever done. But it's one that I completed, so I'm pretty happy with that. Hope you've enjoyed. Please give us a like, a comment, and if you want to support the creation of art, I do have a Patreon page where all of my sketches get uploaded um, into a digital sketchbook every month. So if that interests you, please, if you can spare a couple of bucks, that really, really helps. Um, I'm going to need it now more than ever as I go into the future and start creating my own projects rather than client work so I'm relying on you guys to help me and I'm very appreciative of when you do so thanks for watching if you've made it this far you guys are freaking awesome and I'll see you in the next video cheers hey Ron thanks for watching the video I just wanted to let you guys know that I do run a patreon page and all the drawings that I do every month are compiled into a sketchbook that is digital but also physical so I print them out and I ship them to you uh, and I really, really appreciate the support. Um, I'm not doing a lot of client work at the moment. I've decided to work and focus on personal projects, uh, which is basically funded by you. So any help would be awesome. But if not,
just like, subscribe, comment, all the usual things, and that will really help a lot. So thank you so much, and I will see you next time.